devil academician. Wang Xiaoma, the father of China's early warning aircraft a global leader in early warning aircraft. Why is China's early warning aircraft one generation ahead of the US? Why did Western blockades instead give birth to the world's most powerful air command center? Introduction, the devil academician from the mountain valley he is an anomaly in China's military industry, his name carries the character devil, yet he makes western military giants tremble, he wears leather shoes that haven't been replaced in 20 years, yet he developed globally top-tier early warning aircraft, he played Beijing Opera Arrow and underwent chemotherapy in the hospital ward, yet he used the rhythm of music to finalize technical plans that would change the rules of air. Combat he is Wang Xiaoma, a scientist nicknamed Devil by colleagues, who dedicated his life to creating a thousand mile life for China to safeguard its sovereignty. During the 2009 National Day military parade, when the KJ 2000 early warning aircraft swept over Tiananmen Square with its large disc shape, Aviation Week, US, exclaimed, China's radar technology has leapfrogged one generation ahead of the US. Behind this achievement that shook the West lies a little-known counterattack history, when Israel tore up contracts and the US imposed technical blockades, Wang Xiaomo led a team of elders and younglings to break through over 100 key technologies in five years, catapulting China's early warning aircraft from zero to the world's first tier. Even more legendary, the melody of the Peking Opera asterisk Return of the Phoenix to the Nest constantly floated in the laboratory of this father of early warning aircraft. He refined radar parameters with the subtlety of May School Opera singing and designed early warning aircraft layouts with the stage presence mindset, injecting artistic inspiration into national heavyweight equipment to create a miracle of a symbiosis between science and art. Next, we will unravel how this devil academician rewrote the global early warning aircraft landscape throughout his life from three dimensions, technological breakthroughs, strategic games, and talent inheritance. I. Technological breakthrough. The counterattack from blindness to Thousand Mile Eye in 1969, responding to the Third Front construction call, Wang Xiaoma led his team to take root in the mountains of Guizhou. In cave laboratories without heating or modern equipment, he did two crazy things. First, he made homemade honeycomb coal and assembled televisions, turning the Mountain Research Institute into a heated workplace. Second, he spent 13 years tackling the three-coordinate radar, developing China's first automated air defense radar, the Type 383 radar. The birth of this radar completely transformed China's passive air defense situation. Previously, Chinese radars could only detect target bearings but not calculate altitude precisely, earning the nickname blind. The Type 383 radar, however, could track 200 targets simultaneously with detection accuracy surpassing the US TPS-43 radar of the same period, directly upgrading China's air defense network from approximate guidance to precision strike. In 1985, the project won the National Science and Technology Progress Award first class, with judges commenting, this is a golden phoenix that soared from the mountain valley. Analyzing Wang Xiaoma's technological breakthroughs reveals they were essentially a revolution of creating cutting-edge weapons with humble means. While the West stacked performance with the most advanced components, he achieved technological overtaking at lower costs through innovative concepts like intrapulse frequency scanning. This wisdom of performing miracles in tight spaces shattered the myth that high-end equipment must rely on imports, setting a model for China's independent innovation in chips, aerospace, and other fields. In 1992, Wang Xiaoma turned his attention to early warning aircraft. At the time, the US E3C dominated the global market with its dish radar, while China had not yet popularized the concept of early warning aircraft. He proposed a dual-track strategy of independent R&D plus international cooperation, collaborating with Israel on the Circle project while secretly launching domestic early warning aircraft R&D. However, in 1999, the US pressured Israel to scrap the contract, bringing China's project to the verge of collapse. Wang Xiaoma did not yield, instead, he seized the opportunity to push for full national self-reliance. He creatively proposed a three-sided active phased array radar scheme, installing radar antennas directly on the aircraft's back and abandoning the traditional rotating radar dome. This design gave the KJ-2000 a detection range exceeding 400 kilometers and the ability to track 60 to 100 targets simultaneously, while the US E3C at the time had a range of only 320 kilometers and could not handle multiple targets concurrently. The KJ-2000's 2009 National Day debut stunned the world with the U.S. Jamestown Foundation admitting, China's early warning aircraft are already one generation ahead. Wang Xiaoma's technological breakthroughs tore open the Western monopoly. 
By bypassing US-dominated technical pathways through asymmetric innovation, he achieved transcendence in phased array radar. This wisdom of changing lanes to overtake allowed China to avoid the fate of trailing in early warning aircraft and provided a new paradigm for global technological competition. Two dot strategic games, from creating something from nothing to export counterattack in 1988, with the number 38 Institute needing funds for relocation, Wang Xiaoma made a bold decision, promote the undeveloped JY-9 radar at international defense exhibitions. Relying on his technical expertise, he promised Egypt and other countries a prototype within one year. The radar not only ranked second overall and first in electronic countermeasures performance against US, British, French, and Russian radars in Egypt but also set a record of exporting 13 units, earning $29 million in foreign exchange. He later joked, this is boldness born of skill, like jobs, daring to imagine and act. Meanwhile, Russia's Zu-1M counter-battery radar underperformed on the Ukrainian battlefield, with a detection range of only 25 kilometers and no integration with command systems. China's JY-9 radar, however, achieved a 90-kilometer range using digital array technology and seamless data link integration with the Beidou system, becoming a hot commodity for small and medium-sized nations. This gap reflects Wang Xiaoma's deep understanding of radar technology as a system, he pursued not just single-unit performance but also synergistic combat capabilities with other equipment. Wang Xiaoma's achieving something from nothing was in fact a meticulously planned technical marketing campaign. Using a concept-first strategy, he transformed the technological potential of Chinese radars into market trust, ultimately achieving the goal of sustaining warfare through warfare. This combination of business acumen and technical expertise broke the traditional model of isolated development for military products, setting a textbook example for the export of China's high-end equipment. In 2010, the ZDK-03 Airborne Early Warning AEW, aircraft developed under Wang Xiaoma's leadership was exported to Pakistan, completely reshaping the global AEW market landscape. Based on the Yun-9 platform, this AEW aircraft has a detection range of nearly 400 kilometers, a loiter time of over 8 hours, and costs only one-third of the US E2C. More crucially, it deeply integrates China's data link and electronic warfare systems. During the 2019 India-Pakistan air combat, it successfully guided the J-10CE to shoot down an Indian Rafale fighter jet, becoming a star equipment in actual combat. In contrast, the Falcon AEW aircraft, a 50 EI, purchased by India from Israel has a detection range of only 260 degrees due to simplified design and cannot efficiently coordinate with Western fighter jets. With its open design, the ZDK-03 not only is compatible with the equipment of China and Pakistan but also reserves space for AI upgrades, with the future detection range expected to increase to 650 kilometers. This modular design concept has given Chinese AEW aircraft unique competitiveness in the international market. Wang Xiaoma's export strategy is essentially a combination of technical output plus system empowerment. By meeting customer needs through customized design, he simultaneously implants Chinese military standards into the international market, paving the way for subsequent exports of high-end equipment. This teaching fishing strategy has upgraded China from a mere weapon supplier to a security solution provider, granting it a voice in global military cooperation. 3. Talent Revolution, the philosophy of assigning responsibilities and the five-year rule Wang Xiaoma's approach to talent cultivation can be described as radical. During the KJ2000 project, he overruled objections and appointed 38-year-old Lu Jun as the chief designer, in the R&D of export-oriented AEW aircraft, he named 30-year-old Chao Chen as the deputy chief designer. In the face of skepticism, he firmly stated, I will take full responsibility if anything goes wrong. This philosophy of assigning responsibilities has yielded fruitful results, among the 18 chief designers he trained, the youngest is only 32 years old, the KJ-500 AEW aircraft developed by his team, using all-digital array radar technology, successfully suppressed Indian-Russian-made AEW aircraft during the 2025 South Asian conflict, and was called a game-changing equipment by foreign media. Wang Xiaoma's view on talent has broken the traditional seniority-based model. He implemented the five-year rule engineers must take on important responsibilities within five years of employment, otherwise, they may lose their edge, forcing young people to grow rapidly. 
This practical training model has created a virtuous cycle of succession among old, middle-aged, and young generations in China's EW field, providing a talent guarantee for continuous technological breakthroughs. What is more admirable is that Wang Xiaoma donated all 4.5 million yuan of his National Highest Science and Technology Award bonus to establish the Radar Innovation Reward Fund. He often said, my greatest legacy is not patents, but the talent I have cultivated. Driven by him, a complete talent chain in China's EW field has been formed, spanning from basic research to engineering applications, even attracting researchers from countries such as Sweden and Pakistan to study in China. In contrast, the average age of the R&D team for the US E3CAEW aircraft exceeds 50, lacking innovative vitality. Russia's A100 AEW aircraft has suffered multiple delays due to talent gaps. In China, the average age of the AEW team is only 35, a youthful structure that has enabled China to gain a head start in the R&D of the next generation AEW aircraft, such as the KJ3000. Wang Xiaoma's talent revolution is essentially a reform of breaking out of the comfort zone. He used a crisis-driven approach to hone young people's capabilities in real-world scenarios while providing continuous momentum for innovation through funds and platform construction. This system of cultivating, utilizing, retaining talent has allowed China's military industry to escape the dilemma of relying on individual geniuses and embark on a path of sustainable development. In March 2023, at the age of 84 and on his deathbed, Wang Xiaoma still repeatedly murmured, are the data correct? This scientist, who dedicated his entire life to the AEW cause, guarded his most cherished career with his final moments of clarity. In his office, the Jinghu, a traditional Chinese musical instrument that accompanied him during chemotherapy still hangs on the wall, and an unfinished AEW design draft lies in the instrument case. Wang Xiaomas' story is an epic of independent technological innovation in China. With the persistence of a demon, he blazed a trail through technological blockades, with the meticulousness of a craftsman, he integrated the rhythm of peaking opera into radar design, with the vision of a commander, he built an offensive and defensive air fortress for China. As he once said, I feel extremely lucky to have grown up and contributed to this era. Today, as Chinese AEW aircraft soar over the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait, and as the ZDK-03 safeguards regional peace in Pakistan, what we see is not only the edge of cutting-edge weapons but also the spirit of serving the country through science and technology that a scientist has exemplified throughout his life. This spirit is the core code for China's transformation from a follower to a leader. Which of Wang Xiaoma's achievements do you think is the most groundbreaking? Welcome to share your views in the comments section and let us pay tribute to this devil academician together.